Hi, welcome to this week's devotion, 365 devotions for kids from the hands-on Bible. I have a question for you. Are you as fearless as a bear, like a big old bad grizzly bear? Are you as fierce as a lion, right? The king of the jungle. Or maybe you're as strong as a rhino. Yeah, me neither. Did you answer no to all those questions? Yeah, so did I. So do most people. But just because we're not those things doesn't make us a scaredy cat. Yeah, we are pretty strong and fearless and fierce. You know why? Because many of us have God in our hearts. God's on our side. Now, you may not know it and you may not maybe think about it, but God is always at your side. And we all get scared, right? I know I'm scared of the dark. Yep, it's a thing for me. I'm getting better. I'm an adult, you say. I shouldn't be scared of the dark. But I have my moments. I don't do haunted houses, right? We're just finishing up here with Halloween. I'm not doing those haunted houses. But there are things that scare me, right? I know when I had to take a test in school, I was nervous and anxious. My mom, she's not feeling so good right now. And when I find out about her testing that she had at the doctor's office, do you have somebody in your life that maybe isn't feeling so good? kind of makes you scared and kind of you feel it in your stomach. It's kind of awful. Or maybe mom and dad are mad at you. Yeah, that happens. We did something that they're going to be mad. But God is always by our side because he is way more fearless than any, any bear. He's made way more fierce than any lion. And he is certainly stronger than any rhino I've ever seen. God is is all of these things. And you know what else he is? He's loving. He absolutely loves us and he wants the best for us. So when you're having one of those really bad days that you can't be all of those things and you're kind of like the scaredy cat, go, hey God, I need your help. I need you to be here with me so that I don't feel so alone. Here's this week's activity. I want you to think about what's the strongest part of your body. Is it your arms? Is it your legs? Maybe it's your heart. Maybe you can got a really strong heart. Maybe it's your lungs. Some of you are runners, right? You're, you got really strong lungs. You know what the strongest part of me is? Yep, it's my mouth. Because I can talk and smile all day long. Yep, never wears out. But think about what the strongest part of you is. And who do you have to thank for that? You got God. God made those amazing parts of us and we use them for different things. Maybe you are a runner and you build up the strength in those legs or you're a, you know, you got strong arms. You can throw the ball really far. And obviously I talk a lot. I build up that strength every single day. But the biggest thing is thank God for the strength that you have. Most of all, thank God for the strength we have in those moments when we feel weak. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus who showed us how to be fearless, fierce, and strong. Please help me remember that I can borrow Jesus' strength anytime. Amen. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.